when Maya gets a disturbing phone call from her estranged younger brother, Nikhil, also known as Nick. It sets in motion a series of horrific events that stirs the past and threatens to destroy all she holds dear. Welcome to Within. They abandoned the god who had made them. They sacrificed unto demons whom they knew not. I hadn't heard from my brother in over three months, which wasn't unusual. Nick tends to disappear for months at a time, not returning my calls, and then he surfaces again as if nothing had happened. I've gotten used to it. I don't blame him, considering the childhood we had. I've read somewhere that siblings with shared traumatic pasts tend to grow apart faster when they're adults. Then, last night at around 3 a.m., he left a voice message. I heard it when I woke up a few hours later. Maya, I hope you're okay. I, I know I haven't been in touch, but I just wanted to let you know. Uh, you may not hear from me again, for a while. I don't want you to worry, though. I'm in a spot of trouble, but nothing I can't handle. I'll figure it out. Whatever you do, don't come looking for me. I'll call you when things are right. I know I haven't said this enough, but I... I do love you. Always have. Goodbye, Maya. I must have called him dozens of times, but there was no answer. And then his phone was switched off. I took the next available flight out early next morning. I didn't sleep a wink on the plane. I kept thinking about what kind of trouble he might be in. As soon as I landed, I checked into a motel and then took a cab to the last address I had for him. In the pre-dawn light, the city seemed to grow more decrepit the further in I went, like a thing whose core was growing rotten. I don't know what kind of trouble he's in, but when we were growing up, after Ma died, when it was just the two of us, he'd come to me when he was in real deep and needed saving. And I would save him. I should get this over with quickly. I'll find him, make sure he's okay, then head back. I'm already missing a day at work. Let's see, he should be at apartment 405. Okay, we're in. Uh, all right. Nice. This is really incredible looking, holy crap. Uh, yeah, this looks really good, and, um, you know, it's super smooth so far. I, I like this. Wow. Whose bright idea was it to leave this open? A child might fall in. Yeah, that's not, that's not safe. Also, the voice acting is incredible. All right, uh, so she said apartment 405. I got a small little walk here. That's okay. Wow. This really feels amazing, though. I know, I, I'm, I know, I've said that a bunch already, but this is really nice looking. So 404 is down there. 410. Oh, doesn't sound like anything good is happening down there. Looks like there's a pipe busted up in there. It isn't a good idea to move this scaffold. It looks flimsy. I should just find another way around it. Okay. See 409. No. Can't like randomly knock on people's doors. 40 
Oh, it was just the like bugs from the trash. Gross. Okay. <gasps> oh my god. What? Hello? What was that? Oh no. <laughs> you can't be doing this to me already. Huh. Where'd they go? There was someone just here. There definitely was. Okay. Whatever. Apartment 405. Well, this is it. I should just ring the doorbell, see if he answers. Although, if he's been drinking, I don't have much hope. Nick, are you home? I guess he's either not home, or he's sleeping off a drunken binge, which would not be entirely surprising. Maybe I should just try to open the door and let myself in. Hmm. It's open. Ooh. Gosh, what is that smell? Ooh. Nick? Nick, are you here? This is, uh, you know, you could definitely use a little bit of clean in here, dude. There's got to be a light switch somewhere. It's usually, like, right here on the entrance, is it not? Right here? Aha. Ooh. How is he living like this? This is terrible. This is real bad, dude. Holy crap. Okay. Um. Looks like he's literally living out of a suitcase at this point. He told me he was making money on a freelance web development gig. Was that all a lie? What's he doing with the money he gets? Nothing good, it seems. What is he doing to himself? Once I find him, I'm going to have to see about getting him some real food while I'm here. Yeah, that's solid. I mean, pizza's real food. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty rough, dude. I think I just lost my appetite. <laughs> wow. Yeah, this is a pretty rough place. Do not open. Go back. <laughs> right. Like, this is going to keep me out. <laughs> Nick, are you in there? Are you okay? Open this door. I guess I should find some other way to get it open. All right. We will. Ooh, dark over there. It's the bathroom, it looked like. Is there a switch for it? Yes. We'll shower. The first thing I'm going to help him do is clean this place up. That alone should bring some positivity to his life situation. 100%. Having a nice clean space is always, it's always lovely. Would it hurt to clean up a little? I know, right? Come on now. The savagery. Why can't he get a bed like a normal person? <laughs> oh, what's this old photo? Didn't know he kept this old picture of Ma. Mm. This was taken maybe a year before she died, before the cancer started turning her into skin and bones. Hmm. Oh. Okay. When Ma got sick, he was eight and I was 15. We watched her waste away and die from cancer. We never knew our father. No kid should have to lose both parents so early. We moved in with Aunt Sheba after that. She mostly left us alone, so I had to pretty much raise him. Or at least, I tried. I did the best I could, but hell, I was dealing with my own demons. I guess I made a pretty poor substitute for Ma. Hmm. You can't blame yourself for that. That's, that's pretty unfortunate, though. Losing both parents at such an early age, that's just not okay. Okay, so, uh, gotta figure out a way to open that door, huh? Anything over here? Well, there you go. Looks like he's fallen off the wagon again. Oh, Nick. I sometimes think if he hadn't had that accident, if his best buddy Alex hadn't been killed, things might have turned out different for him. He was 16, driving home from a party. Alex in the passenger seat. <laughs> Damn. Nick had no business being behind the wheel that night. 
he was drunk out of his mind. Alex was killed on the spot. Nick survived, but he could never forgive himself for Alex's death. With Ma gone, I was supposed to be the parent. Rein him in. I should have been tougher with him. I messed up there. I guess I neglected him when it mattered. That's on me. Mm. Damn, dude, that's so sad. That is so rough. I can't even imagine. Hey, whoa, hey, hey! Hello? Whoa. Nick, are you in there? Quit playing. Yeah, you better stop it, because that's not cool. Oh, I got chills like none other. Holy crap. Oh, what's in there? It's like all red light and stuff, dude. Okay, here we go. Whoa! Jeez. Hello? Hello? Oh, whoa, dude. How did this door open? Uh, yeah, you got me on that one. I'm not sure. Whoa. Now, this is a cool-ass room, though. I will tell you that. This is, this is super dope. <laughs> Holy crap. This is a cool room, dude. Oh, my God. I would, yeah, I would love this. Wow. Some crazy cool posters. I see his taste in music hasn't changed. All the death metal and occult stuff he was always into. O occult? Thought it was occult. Well, at least I know where all his money's going. But where the hell is he? Ooh, you got a nice PC. Damn. I could turn this on? Ooh. Your standard issue USB slots. So much more interactive than I expected this to be. That's that's a nice PC, bro. That's big. Oh, and you got a game console? He used to love these consoles growing up. He'd spend hours locked into those games. I guess it was an escape for him after Ma passed and we were living at Aunt Sheba's. The worst period of our lives. He was such a quiet kid back then. I can relate getting drawn into games like that to uh, avoid reality. I 100% know what that's like. <laughs> that's some magazines? Random drawer junk. Nothing useful. <laughs> Speak for yourself. He's got MGL and CQQ in here, dude. Nothing useful here. Mm. Oh, USB drive. This dress. could be it. Some more drawer junk. Okay. All right, we found a USB, at least. I should check this computer. Maybe it'll give me some clue to what's going on with him. Uh, boot failure. USB I could probably use the USB drive I found in that drawer. Oh, okay. So you need the USB drive to boot up your PC? What kind of setup you got here? <laughs> this looks days old. Hmm. Just really like all these posters. This is all super cool. Who unlocked it? That's what I'm wondering. Oh, you got a thermostat in here too, dude? Dang, you got the whole setup. It's nice. I like the couch and everything. You got the whole thing going on, dude. This is a great little room. I love it. Uh, so I got a... Oh, guitar. I wonder hand. if he still actually plays. He was obsessed with the guitar for a while in school. Formed a band. They weren't all that good. Lasted all of six months. <laughs> At least he tried, though. You know? More you could say than for some people. Just trash. I'm not digging through that. Yep, that's fair. Okay. All right, let's put in this USB. See what we got on here. Okay. Game.exe and play log number one. What's this text file? Uh, I finally got it all set up. The sandbox operating system, a secure, heavily modified, uh, or modded Linux variant running as a VPC, goddamn, and the game contained within. This may be overkill, but it's better to be cautious considering the urban legend around this game. A single EXE file, not very cleverly named, no instructions, to think it took me nearly six months to track it down on the dark web. The things I had to trawl through to find it. Things I don't think I could ever unsee. 
Ah, I don't have much hope for humanity anyway. We're broken beyond redemption. I'll continue taking notes in these text files. If this game is the real deal, I can later use them to compose a post documenting my journey for the R uh, Occult subreddit. The Occult subreddit. Anyway, first things first. I have to get the game to work. It keeps crashing when I click it. The lore says that it works at random. You just have to keep clicking. The code is probably corrupt. The stories about this game are fascinating, if not profoundly disturbing. For example, a guy who played it, and then that's it, just cuts off and it has these weird numbers and stuff like that there. Okay. Strange. Alright, so you got some crazy, uh, cursed game or something. Let's see what it is. Okay. Oh. What the hell? Well, this is strange. Ooh. What's all this? Ooh, some... Some dark right here. That's not good. Ooh! Okay, what do you want me to do? Oh, I am going this way. with all these symbols. Ooh, this is creepy. Okay, I'm guessing I gotta find- OH MY JESUS! You, I, uh, what? What was that? Oh my god, dude, that scared the shit out of me. Oh! Okay. Unknown error. Application crashed. Wait. That file wasn't there before. I'm sure of it. Wait a minute. Hold up now. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> okay. Play log number three. Got it to- oh, this is- okay. June 24th. Got it to run. First impressions, a creepy, grainy, pixelated PS2 era style walking sim. The game's unstable, crashed four times already. Good thing I sandboxed it. It's chewing up files and then randomly spitting them back. No credits, no title screen, no save or load. It was hard to find. So many fake leads and BS. I would have given up sooner had I not believed there was some truth to the stories. I finally stumbled on the game almost by accident. Following a non-link to the file dump on, on an onion server. I don't know what that- I don't know what any of that means. I found it amidst cryptically named zip archives, many of them full of unspeakable images. The myth of the game, which I pieced together sifting through volumes of shit posts for bits of truth, suggests that only one copy can exist at a time, and that it allows itself to be found by those whom it selects. There are stories that it was not created by human hands, that it was birthed whole in the filth of the dark web, a digital abomination conceived and formed in the womb of humanity's most depraved impulses. As I spend hours digging into this, the old compulsions are inexorably returning. Dark thoughts, guilt, a desperate craving for alcohol, it's impossible to resist. The symbols in the graffiti are pre-Sumerian, suggesting an ancient entity, possibly a greater demon. Perhaps most disturbing of all is the notion that it can, and then, then it just cuts off. What's in the world? What? Hold on. 
There was a lot of big words in there, first of all, all right? So I, it took me a little bit. But God, what? This is some crazy stuff. So this thing was not created by human hands, but yet birthed in a hole in the filth of the dark web. A digital abomination conceived and formed in the womb of humanity's most depraved impulses. That's a crazy line. That's insane. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I should not have played this. Should not have played this. All right, let's, I guess, back out here. No, that's, how do you get out? Do I, uh, do I leave this or no? Am I going back in the game? Oh, I'm back in. Okay. So I'm guessing I gotta like find another face or something. Dude, this is wild though so far. I <laughs> I'm really liking this. Ooh. There it is. Whoa. What the hell is this? Oh. Nick. Oi, that's my brother. Uh, system failure restart required. I'm pretty sure that was Nick's photo in there. But that makes no sense. I've got to get this game going again. D do we? I think we need to contact some experts. That's what we need to do. What? What was that? All right, let's try to restart it then, I guess, huh? Ah! Oh! Jeez, that scared me. <sighs> Just the lights. The electrics here are falling apart like the rest of the building. Just the lights? You really think it was just the lights? Oh, God. Okay. Let's try this again, I guess. Oh, there's another play log. Dude, this is getting crazy. Hold on. It's the same date, too. 24th of June. Getting worse. Growing signs of malevolence. Waking nightmares, oppressive thoughts, general malaise, an intense craving for self-defilement. Weird sounds from the other room. Voices, footsteps, shifting shadows. An hour ago, the webcam turned on by itself and took a pic. I was able to identify the entity from the symbols in the graffiti. Bail Nagin, aka the ill spirit of guilt and grief. Here's the entry from Deacon. Perhaps the only demo demonology wiki with some authenticity. A greater demon from pre-biblical times, first worshipped by the Lagani sect in then Sumeria, requires human sacrifice, feeds on fatalism, guilt, and grief, manifests in the recurring nightmares of killers, in the lust-slash-regret cycles of serial sex offenders, in the dying fugue? of dead men walking, in the guilt borne by family members of suicide victims, in the PTSD of war survivors, in the haunting dread of good people gone irrecoverably wrong, a vile parasitical being that consumes those who it selects. Jesus, that is insane. That's just a crazy, first off, that's a lot of, a lot of big words, all right? I am not that fancy. That is crazy that's an insane sounding uh being that i do not want to be <laughs> anywhere close to bail nagin wow okay the simplicity of the game is almost certainly deliberate the pattern of the symbols the piles of refuse and filth the writings on the scrolls all of it suggests an invocation ritual have i made a terrible mistake what am i awakening in the deep dark the game is trying to, and then it just cuts off again. Okay, this is not going good. Not going good so far, but we're just gonna dive right back into it. Cause why not? Okay, where am I? <laughs> this is not where I ended, not where I ended last time. My, uh... Woo! Yo, it's saying my name. 
Why are we still playing this? We should be- Oh, shit. Oh, shit balls. You gotta be kidding me, dude. Okay. What's that? Is that a, that's a scroll. Woo! Okay, one out of four collected. Okay, then. Okay, I... <laughs> Wait, where's the scroll, bud? Is there no scroll over here? Oh my god, dude, this, like, breathing or whatever it is is freaking me out. I'm guessing this is, like, where I have to go after I get all of the scrolls or something? I don't know! Alright, we're gonna go through here. Another one, yes. really like that art on the scrolls. That is crazy looking. Oh my jeez! Oh my god! <laughs> oh no! Okay. Alright. <laughs> Where do you want me to go? You want me to go down here again? Did you unlock that door? Is that what I heard? Oh, yep. I bet you did. Your eyes are red now down here. Yep. Okay, good talk. Oh. My. Help me. Please. You have to help me. Nick? I'm scared, Maya. It's awful here. Please, help me. Okay there. Hey, what? uh... Oh, wow. That was Nick's voice, I'm sure of it. I'm gonna get this PC going again. No, why? We need to contact some experts! Maya. Oh! Hello? <gasps> Is someone there? <laughs> oh, oh, that, oh, that voice whispering Maya, that was not okay. It's too dark in here. I should get the lights on. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, okay. Oh, oh my Jesus! Oh my god, dude. Dude, that is not okay. Whoa! That, oh, that's not the picture that was there. Dude, this is freaky. Oh, that's awful. How could the picture have changed like this? I, I don't know. I don't know. But it's not good. That curtain moved on its own. Oh, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Okay. <sighs> Nobody. But that's impossible. Okay. Oh my god! Nick. But his face. Oh my god. What is happening to me? Holy shit. Holy shit, this is freaking me out. Okay. Okay, let's let's try and get this restarted. Whew!
Alright, another play log. Number 12. Uh, 25th of June. I saw Alex today. He was here, in the apartment, standing by the far wall. He looked the same as he did when I saw him all those years ago, on a gurney in the morgue, the day after the accident. His dead body cold, his face split open, his eyes wide. Despite his horrific wounds and the odd angle of his neck, he was somehow still alive. He called out to me. He was grinning, but I saw the hatred in his dead eyes. I survived the accident, even though I was the one drunk and driving. He wanted me to follow him. I begged for forgiveness, but I know it's too late for that. There can be no redemption for a man like me. I must go after him. I have no choice. First, I have to call Maya. I have to warn her, tell her to stay put and not come looking for me, because I know Maya. She'll look for me if she doesn't hear from me for too long. She still feels responsible for me, even after all these years. Still blames herself for my failures, even though she shouldn't. If only she knew that she's the last good thing left in my life. The reason I'm alive is because she's saved me a million times already. But she can't save me this time. Not from this. And I can't let her get hurt. If she comes here... And then it just cuts off. It's just... Oh my god. Okay, that's crazy. So yeah, you're seeing Alex. Dude, you're seeing Alex in your apartment after playing this game. Damn. That is... That's, that's insane. That's messed up. Alright. Let's get back in there, I guess. Oh. Just crashed. Didn't work. Okay, not working. What do I do then? Oh, there we go. What in the hell, man? That's where I was with all the pictures on there. Okay. Oh, I gotta go through there. I see. Another scroll. Sweet. So three out of four. What's that noise? Oh. Oh, did that little door over there just get unlocked? Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who the hell just crawled on the ceiling like that? Better not have been Nick. I swear to God. Alright, I got all four scrolls. Okay, we're... Oh, my... <laughs> oh, that's terrifying. Oh, that's terrifying. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay. What the hell was that? Uh, Nick, wait, Nick. Excuse me, Nick. What's your problem? Uh, the apartment changed, by the way. Uh, things have gotten worse in here. These walls were not like this. I don't remember that being like that. Nick. Okay, chasing after Nick. In the hallway. Okay. That's okay. Oh, hey! Nick! Nick! Stop being a dickhead! Nick, stop! It's me! 
Oh my god. That is not, it's not, it is not Nick. I'm telling you, dude. Jesus! What? What just crawled down there, dude? Oh, that's not okay. Oh, no, 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 no. I want to leave. I just want to get out of here. Let's go uh, knock on somebody's door. See if they'll, they'll let me in. Oh, my God. It's an exit. This is the door he went in. Dude. All right, well, I can't go upstairs. You're leading me downstairs? That's not good. This is not good. I just heard him walking. My... I'm down here. Come quick. Oh, my God, no. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh, my God. All right, give me a second. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is killing me, dude. Yo, how far down is this going? This is way too dark. My... Oh, uh, come on. I'm waiting for you, Maya. Where are you? Maya, you We're know- all waiting. Maya, you know this is a bad idea. What are you doing? You know that we shouldn't be going down here. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. You know what? You know what? I'm not having it. God damn it. You can't save me, Maya. You never could. Even when we were growing up, you couldn't even protect me from myself. The accident. Alex's death. My miserable life. All of it could have been different. If only you'd done what you were supposed to do. Who are you? What have you done to my brother? Oh, 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 oh shit. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, that's crazy. Oh my god, dude. I have like the biggest smile on my face right now. That was so cool. Sometime later, I found myself back in the apartment. I couldn't remember how I got there. There was no sign of Nick or the thing that had looked like him. And his computer would no longer turn on. I did the only thing I could. I filed a missing person report and flew home. It's been six months since then. I've tried every possible way to locate him, but there's been no word from him. I keep thinking about the thing I saw at the bottom of those stairs, the thing from inside the game. When it came at me, just before its awful malevolence could engulf me, something or someone stepped between us and shielded me. I think that's how I got away. I think... I think it was Nick who saved me. Damn. That was so cool. God, that was such an amazing game. Wow, like, just wow. Holy crap. That was really well done. God damn. 
Well, that's gonna do it for Within. I'm blown away by this game. I did not expect this to be this good. This was fantastic. Everything from the ambiance, the jump scares, the voice acting, and the story, all so well done. Not to mention the visuals were really good as well. I think they did a great job on this. I would love to see a continuation on this story. That would be really cool. But I will definitely be checking out more from this developer, because they just nailed it. My god, that was so good. But as always, big shout out to the developer on this, and I just hope you guys enjoyed the ride as much as I did. That is gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on the game down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, then give it a like, and if you really enjoyed it, then hit that subscribe. I truly appreciate each and every single one of you. But until next time, you all take care.